with us, joining us, we have Santiago Echeverry. I'm saying that right? Yes, perfect. Thank oh, that's amazing. Thank Are you, you making very a little much. movie by any chance? For yes, of course I am, for my piece. <laughs> for your piece. <laughs> yes. Right, and, and we also have uh, Lou Harris uh, without his parrot. Yeah. <laughs> without his parrot. He, he joining wanted to us. come. Did he win? Yeah. We, uh, and, and they're here to talk to us about Electronics Alive that's happening at UT. But before we get into that, Rob, do you have something to, to give to our guests? You know what? I'm going to give you guys the second and the third shirt ever given out. Yay. They're brand bada new. Bada bing. <laughs> Thank you so Hot much. Hot off the press. <laughs> Boom. They're still Wonderful. Warm, so wear Wonderful. Them Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Right. We expect you guys to wear those things in your oh, next absolutely. film. Absolutely. Or yeah. hurry up, go change, come back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you guys hey. talk to us about, about what's going on at, at UT and talk to us a little bit about the history and origin of Electronics Alive 4. All right. Uh, <laughs> Basically, uh, it, it was an idea of mine, uh, and, and I finally was able to put it together in 2000, and it's a biennial exhibit of artists from all around the world. Of what kind of exhibit? Uh, it's all digital art. So, so there, uh, it has anima animations and interactive pieces and <laughs> performance pieces and all kinds of things. There's, there's some printed work as well. Uh, Oh, no, no. I, yeah. I, I mean, I'm yeah. fascinated by the fact that what a great time to have some kind of, of uh, competition or some kind of show that's based on such a convergence in what we do every day as far as from cell phones to camcorders to regular, tele, you know, regular cameras that have video MPEGs on them to the editorial software that's available to the graphics, the animation, to photography. It's the sky's the limit. It's like mixed media for for video and TV. And it's exactly more than video and TV. That's exactly the point. We're just trying to curate, and in, it's, it's by invitation. It's not a competition. We have to be very clear about I'm that. I'm glad oh, you said that. Great. Thank you. I'm question. sorry about so that. So it is very important because that way we were able to invite people from all over the world. And what we, we're doing is that we're going beyond just plain and pure animation, plain and pure 3D animation or 2D animation created with a computer, but we're going towards interactive media. Interactive installations are actually created with liquid, mag liquid magnets multiple installations, screen, multiple screen insta installations and everything. So we're trying to go beyond the, the, what is now considered as a stereotypical printed art. It's going beyond the wall, it's going beyond the screen, it can go just into the space of the gallery. Well, ha what's the UT tie-in with this? Is it the UT that holds this or...? or yes, yes. We, we created it, uh, we put it together, we picked the people. How do you, pick the pe how do you know the people to pick? Well, actually that's we a good thing. Networking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, networking. networking. You're going to find some people here. I'd like to be uh, invited next year, yeah. or in two years from now. <laughs> two years. <laughs> so uh, is this uh, local? Oh, no. What, what do you mean? The people, uh, people, that you, the people that you show, yeah, that you invite, are they all oh, no, local no, people? No, no, so no, no, no. There's an interactive sculpture from Japan. There's an animation from Iran. What, what's an interactive sculpture? Well, as you come up and approach it, it does different things. It takes <laughs> on different forms. It actually detects the magnetic field of the human body. And so it's, it's related to magnetic fields. And so what is happening is like, um, in order to curate the works, and <coughs> we, had, we actually went to several exhibits, such as uh, Seagraph, Seagraph uh -huh. in Boston uh -huh. last year. And we had the chance to see the electronic theater and the gallery. And that's where we all, as a group, decided to invite people. But besides that, um, we have the chance to be digital artists ourselves. I'm Colombian, and so I have contacts, and so that's why we, we, we have the chance to have two other Colombian artists in the, in, the, in, the, in the exhibit. We were able to contact friends in France, in Germany, and people, and that's exactly what we wanted to do, to create a very high level, very good quality exhibit with the people that we were able to invite and a very one-to-one -one, um, invitation. And, and represented on a global level, not exactly. just somewhat of a small community of people yes, going, oh, exactly. look, I did this in After Effects. Yeah, exactly. No, let's exactly. talk about electromagnetic. After Effects, no, yeah, it wrong after effects is wonderful. <laughs> it's an incredible compositing tool for other creative outlets and, and <laughs> different kinds of medium, right? Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. there are other things. Now, do you guys have anything or pieces that will be yeah. displayed? Yeah. Yeah, Santiago has, has a piece. Yeah. Uh, at least no, actually, I do have only one. And it's a collection of yeah. videos, um, low-resolution videos captured with my cell phone, and I'm using an interactive interface to display the video in an interactive way. I already have 300 clips that are 10 seconds long, and the user can just browse them by just moving the mouse and clicking on them, and it's always a different experience. You never know what's going to come next. The audio is completely separated from the audio. And it's a collection of memories, images captured in Istanbul, in Paris, in Bogota, in Boston, here in Tampa, in Miami. 
Miami. Oh. So it's all over the place, and the, the title of the piece is called World. Is it, is, it, is it similar to being able to navigate through it uh, as, as, as the Tom Cruise movie where he was moving stuff around and things were sliding? Is, it, oh, yeah. is, well, it, is that I interactive part of it, uh, uh, a part of the display? I wish it were as commercial as Tom Cruise's movie, but it isn't. <laughs> but yes, of course. Yes, it. It, the, right. the, the idea is that it's a very personal experience on related to memory. Do you well, have, I'm oh, sorry. sorry. Do you have speakers that people can can hear and listen to and absorb from? Yes, yes, yes. We've had several already, uh, and we've got two two more. Santiago uh, can, can talk about Alan Price. He's coming, and then we have somebody that's that's local, that runs a, an animation studio. His name is Kevin Scalaro. Yeah, Tridimensional so, Studios. So yes, exactly. Right, right. So they're going to be here not next week, but the week after. Uh, that's, the, I think, believe the last week of the show. And we had Alan Price is actually coming from Ohio State, Ohio State University, and his expertise is interactive 3D, real-time animation. Oh, so wow. he's dealing pretty much with sensors and creating these virtual sculptures and 3D environments where the, the elements are just being interacted with by the user. That's something As that you need to go watch. Uh, no, I wa I'm going to go and, and watch this, and I, I wanted another question for our audience is, is that while all of this artwork is on display, are there also going to be kind, you know, is there going to be lectures on the technology that was used and the motivation behind it throughout this, throughout this as well as your speakers? There's, there's been several already. Right. There's two, right. there's two left. And there's and two more coming, there's, com there's two more coming yeah, up. Yeah, and there's, there's also a performance piece tomorrow, tomorrow night with Terry Oh, Mon that's super Mon interactive, huh? That's yeah, super interactive. So it's got, you know, it's got live pieces and tape tape visuals and whatever. So Terry built this the sound and the music and he's going to play off that and we'll have you know like live and you know live switching well, uh, as well. What's left to see and how can people come see you? Do they buy tickets or do they get are they is this by invite only to? One no. of the okay. great things about this show is that it's open to anyone. It's free. It's absolutely free and that's, that's one great. of the main purposes of being an educational institution. We're not charging for that. We're investing a lot because we want to bring the best to the, to, to the city. And so educate people. Educate yes. people. And actually, the, yeah. all the lectures were open to anyone. And the gallery is open pretty much between Monday and Friday, between 10 a.m. And, and 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. But you can always call and you can always leave it open or you can always schedule a visit. And on the weekends and Saturdays, it's going to be open between 12 and 4. And uh, so it's, it's free for everyone, and I think it's, it's very important because people here in this side of, the, of Florida, and this yeah. coast of Florida, are not very used to seeing art that is, n right. that is, not, that is not traditional. You're right, and this the is such non-traditional, I think yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. Thank so you both for joining us tonight. This is such an interesting segment. We need to go down there and see there. Yes, see I think next we should do that. Time. Maybe we can call and bring a couple tomorrow people night, from work and do like seven and nine. Seven and nine. Oh, seven and nine tomorrow night. Be one next time we see you both, we want to see you in in, in these t-shirts that we and have. Those. And then I'd also like to have a discussion, maybe to be invited in for two years from now for your next one, so we can come together as a group <laughs> of people in this community and display yeah. our art as well. And you can do the show from there. Absolutely, <laughs> we be can do our show from there. It's great. Thank you both.